Hello, students! I am glad to see you again. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. So, let's start. Look at the screen. Can you guess what we are going to do? You are right. We are going to write an email. Now, look at the picture and try to guess the topic of the lesson. Certainly. The topic of our lesson today is an email describing how to make your favorite food. In this lesson, we are going to learn new words related to the topic, practice saying measurements, write an email describing how to make your favorite food. Don't forget to take your notebook, a pen or a pencil to make notes. First, students, let's revise the material we have learned before. Fill in any, some, many, much, lots, no. I will give you some time. I see you have finished. Now let's check. Number one. How many apples are there in the bag? You are right. Number two. There is no cheese in the fridge. Who ate it all? Great. Number three. We've got lots of bread. Perfect. Number four. We haven't got much juice. There is only half a carton left. Great. And the last sentence. Is there any yogurt in the fridge? I want it for breakfast. Well done, students. Let's get acquainted with the new vocabulary and let's see what these words mean. I will read and you please listen and repeat. Celery is a vegetable with long green stems that can be eaten raw or cooked. Stock is the main stem of a plant or the narrow stem that joins leaves, flowers or fruit to the main stem of a plant. Recipe is a set of instructions telling you how to prepare and cook food, including a list of what food is needed for this. Chop. To cut something into with an axe, knife or other sharp instrument. Grate. To rub food against a grater in order to cut it into a lot of small pieces. Peel to remove the skin of fruit and vegetables. Season to improve the flavor of savory food by adding salt, herbs or spices when cooking or preparing it. Sprinkle to drop a few pieces or drops of something over a surface. Finally, into very thin or small pieces. Now, students, we are going to improve our writing skills. So, how to write an email describing how to make your favorite food? Please listen and be ready to make notes. First, greet your friend. Then, in paragraph one, write greetings. For example, I'm so glad you liked and the name of the dish. In paragraph two, describe how to prepare your favorite food, ingredients and cooking methods. Don't forget to use appropriate linking words. 
In paragraph 3, write extra suggestions, closing remarks. And after that, best wishes and your first name. Now, students, look at the example of the email about the favorite food. Who is writing this email? You are right, Louisa. And what is it about? About the recipe. Next task. Complete the gaps with chop, grate, pour, fry, sprinkle, peel. I will give you some time and then we will check. I hope you have finished. Now listen and compare your answers. Hi Megan, how are you? I've got the recipe you asked for. I'm so glad you like the spaghetti bolognese dish I cooked on Friday. It's my favorite. It's not that hard to cook. First, you need 500 grams of beef, an onion, a carrot, a stalk of celery, some Parmesan cheese, two tomatoes, and a packet of spaghetti. Once you've got all that, you need to wash the vegetables, chop up the onion, carrot, and celery finely. Then, grate the Parmesan cheese, peel the tomatoes, and cut them into small pieces. Put some olive oil in a saucepan and add the onion, vegetables, and meat. Fry all the ingredients until they're cooked. Season with salt and pepper. While you're doing that, boil the spaghetti in salted water for about 10 minutes. When it's ready, Drain the spaghetti and place it on a plate. Pour the vegetable and meat sauce over the spaghetti and sprinkle with the Parmesan cheese. You can change some of the ingredients if you want. For example, you can add mushrooms and herbs. Write back and tell me what you think. Best wishes, Louisa. Now students, look at the email again and try to find the linking words. Compare your answers. First, once, then, while. Well done, students. Now, students, we are going to practice saying measurements. Look at the recipe for chocolate cake. And now, read the box explaining the measurements. Now, answer my questions. How much flour do we need? We need 250 grams. How much sugar do we need? 150 grams. How much baking powder do we need? We need two teaspoons. How much eggs do we need? Three eggs. Try to ask and answer too. Let's do a practical task. Fill in gram, kilogram, milliliters, teaspoon, tablespoon. I will give you some time. I see you have finished. Now let's check. To make the apple sauce, we need the following ingredients. First, two kilograms of apples, you are right. 237 milliliters of apple juice or water, great. A hundred grams of sugar, Perfect. Two large tablespoons of lemon juice. 
one small teaspoon of cinnamon. Brilliant! Next task is listening. First, look at the ingredients and instructions. Listen to a chef describing how to make roast chicken and put the information in the correct order. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect roast chicken. First, get your chicken and season it inside and out with salt and pepper. Then, put it inside the fridge for an hour. Do this if you want your chicken to taste even better. You can just start cooking it right away, but I prefer to leave it in the fridge for an hour. While it's in the fridge, turn your oven on to 450 degrees. Take the chicken out of the fridge and season it with herbs inside and out. Then, roast the chicken in the oven for 50 minutes. Once it's cooked, leave it for 10 minutes to cool down, then serve. Now, let's check your answers together. First, season chicken with salt and pepper. You are right. Number two, place chicken in fridge for one hour. Brilliant. Number three, turn over on to 450 degrees. Number four, season chicken with herbs. Number five, roast chicken for 50 minutes. And number six, leave to cool for 10 minutes and serve. Well done, students. Now, students, your turn. Your English-speaking friend has asked you to send him or her a recipe of a traditional dish that you serve on special occasions at home. Write an email describing how to make this dish. Follow the plan. First, greet your friend. Then, in paragraph one, write greetings, name of the dish, when dish is usually served. In paragraph two, describe how to prepare your favorite food, ingredients, and cooking methods. Use the appropriate linking words. In paragraph three, write extra suggestions, closing remarks. Then, best wishes and don't forget to write your first name. At last, check your progress. Try to say or write what you can do. For example, I can read for specific information. I know how to use appropriate linking words to join sentences. Or I understand how to write an email describing how to make my favorite food. That's all for today. See you next lesson. I hope you have understood well all the material we have learned.